Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to connect a matrix of a numerical keypad to your Arduino so you can provide um, input by just pressing these buttons. Now this is uh, called a matrix uh, keypad because the keys obviously are organized in a matrix but also it's the name is going to do something with the the way that uh, output is generated by this keypad. Um, I'm going to show you how to figure out which of these lines correspond to which rows and columns of the keypad because when you buy these on eBay they're, they're not marked so you not really know you don't really know how these are connected to the actual keys. I've already made some markings here because I have, uh, have uh, figured out uh, what each line corresponds to earlier but I'm going to show you first how to do the same and then I'm going to show you how to connect it to your Arduino. So I'm going to start by using my multimeter. It's a simple digital multi multimeter and what I want to do is to set it to measure resistance, um, low resistance so up to 200 ohms and this is a little bit of an investigative process uh, now so I'm going to use my little crocodile helpers to help me out with these connections so I'm, I'm going to start with the leftmost pin um, I, I make a, a rough guess or an estimate that uh, this wire is connected to either one of the columns or the, the first row so either the first column or the first row, but I just don't know yet which one it is. So I'm going to use the red crocodile wire to connect one end of my um, ultimator. Then I'm going to press, say the very first button, first row and first column, and then try to figure out where I have a circuit closed. So I'll be looking at this reading and make sure that and once that reading becomes uh, non-infinite because now it's infinite then I know that I have a connection. So I'm holding that key down and then I'm starting to sample the outputs. So nope that's not it. Oops. It's not easy obviously. Nope that's not it. Let me go for the third one. Not it. Fourth one. Nope. Fifth one. Yep, so I've got something here. So that tells me that this button when pressed activates or connects uh, pins number one. And this one is number five. Like this number one, I'll explain why in a minute. So that and that are connected when I press one. So now I want to see whether the yellow is a column or a row, and whether the blue is a column or a row. So I'm going to press the number two key down. Number one wire is still connected with my crocodile wire. And now I'm going to continue sampling. We're going to continue with number 5 pin. Nope, that's not connected. What about number 6 pin? Yep, and I see that I've got a connection here. So number 6 is connected. So now this tells me that the second column is monitored by this blue wire which is number 7 if I count from the leftmost pin number seven this one here so I can also guess now I'm pretty confident that number three will be monitored by this wire here the third column so connect my multimeter to it press number three and I see that I have a weak resistance about 47 ohms here and lastly just to be sure the A button, it's in fourth column, it's monitored by the number 8 wire out of the keypad. 
um, I can confirm maybe the third column. So I'm going to remove that from here and plug it into the third yellow wire. And I press number four key. And I assume or guess that the fourth key is monitored by the first blue wire because it's in the first column. And uh, let's see. Nope. Try the next one. Oh, sorry, I was looking at the wrong thing. Let's try that. I was, yeah, I had made a connection on the fourth column. Sorry, the, the fourth, no, sorry again, the, uh, the third uh, row, first column. So the third row is monitored by the third yellow wire, and the first column is monitored by the, the first blue wire. So you'll need to do this for maybe one or two rows, and then uh, you get a good sense of how the keypad is constructed internally, and then you can use that information to finish up with the connections of the Arduino. So let's go ahead and do that now. I've got a, a mini breadboard here and uh, I'm going to use it to keep my connections clean and tidy. So kind of hook those in like that. And then the blue wires give a little space in between. Okay, on the Arduino side, I'm looking at my example script. You can have a look at that here. So you can see that the library that I'm using, and I'm going to go into more details uh, a little bit later, but the library that I'm using uh, requires that I define the pins to which the rows are connected and the pins to which uh, the columns are connected. So this one here tells me that columns need to be connected to digital pins 2, 3, 4, and 5. And then the columns uh, should be connected to digital pins 6, 7, 8, and 9. So I'm going to be a little bit careful when I do these connections to, so I don't mix them up. So uh, as I discovered earlier, these are the pins that connect the rows and these are the pins that connect the columns, yellow and blue. So I'm going to start with the yellows and connect uh, keypad pin, row pin number one to uh, Arduino digital pin two, like that. Then keypad row pin number two to Arduino digital pin three and so on and so forth and I'm going to do the exact same thing for the columns so column keypad number one this one here goes to digital pin number six on the Arduino, and so on. Okay, so these are all the connections and hopefully they are correct now. So the next thing to do, just leave this aside here for a second. The next thing to do is to connect and upload a sketch and see if the keys actually correspond to the right letters or symbols. So upload the sketch.
and uploading and I will bring up the monitor so we can see what the output is like so now I'm pressing one there you go one output two three pressure three a four five six b seven eight nine oops skip nine Seems like I've got an error with my. Oh, yeah, I've got an error with my script. So you can see here, I've got five, six, and then I've got six, seven, eight. So I've just lost a, a row of symbols. I'm going to fix it really quickly. Upload. confirm again so one two three a four five six b seven eight nine c star zero hash and d there you go it all works nicely so it's pretty simple once you figure out how the connections are happening internally to uh, connect the keypad to the Arduino.